This is the Ridiculously Amazing Insurance Agent Podcast, hosted by me, Kelly Donna Yupiro. This show is for growing insurance agencies looking to maximize their biggest investment, their people. Listen to the top agency performance partners' clients share their story on how they boosted their performance by executing a plan. Let's head to the show. All right. For our first video, it's all about having a plan. That's step one. I can't tell you how many agencies contact us in January and say, we need to do some business planning for the year. And I'm like, we're already a percentage of the way in the year. Having a plan is critical because it helps your team visualize where you're going, what to focus on for the year. And it actually reduces the issues that come up with, you know, the comments of we're always changing things. We're always doing something different. When they know the vision, they can mentally prepare that for themselves. For in many agencies, we hide our vision just because we, we are doing all this background knowledge. We don't know exactly what's going to happen. We kind of spring it on the team. You can do yourself a big favor by having a roadmap that your team knows about. So as things get rolled out, it's much easier. So go ahead and check out our three minute video all on having a plan. Hey everyone, it's Kelly Tommy Yapiro here. And this week you're going to see some new face, a new face in our videos, but I'm going to let him introduce himself. Um, we're going to talk this week all about what do you have to do between now and the end of the year? That's the, that's the scoop. What do we need to do right now? It's November. Gosh, there's only six weeks left of the whole freaking year, if you can believe that. So what do we need to do now to be successful next year? And one of the things that we have to do is get a plan. You guys heard me preaching about this because we have our course, Plan and Execute. You have, at this point, missed the launch, but you can still buy it on our online store if you'd like. And the whole idea is how do we get a whole plan together for the year? Your team deserves structure. Your team deserves another vision. And honestly, change becomes much easier when there's time to digest it. So we like to say a ship without a captain is just floating at the ocean. And if your agency doesn't have a plan for next year, that's what you're going to do. Or my favorite, people start their plan January 15th, creating it, and you lose an entire month. That is not at all what you want to do either. So when you have your plan, you can go talk to your team about it. It takes the sting out of change. They know to expect it. But it's also not we're doing this tomorrow. So there's time to digest. There's time to identify it. And most importantly, there's time to adapt to it and understand it. it also allows you to maximize your resources. As a small business owner myself, I don't have infinite budget. I don't have an infinite time. So this helps me structure and say, these are the things that need our resources. I cannot say yes to everything. And in fact, when I'm bumping along and just kind of seeing what comes my way, it's a really ineffective use of my resources to get an ROI. It's also, there's a saying that I love, and I just, I love this saying so much. Um, and anytime I'm on the struggle bus, sometimes I think about this, which is there is freedom and discipline. So when I'm disciplined about my plan, I know what winning is. I know what success looks like. I know how to track everything and where I should be. When I have no plan, I've got none of that. Um, I have a feeling. Feelings don't have brains. So there is freedom and discipline. When we're disciplined to do the things that we need to do, it gets you to freedom, whether that's financial freedom, whether that's freedom from your agency, whatever it is, there's freedom and discipline. So you have to be disciplined enough to get a plan and talk to your team about it. So that is our tip for the day. Tomorrow, you're going to meet someone brand new that's joining the team. We hope you give them a big warm welcome. See you tomorrow. All right. So this one is Heath Sharon's official first video. So make sure you send them a note telling them how much you love it. It's all about getting very clear job descriptions. It's hard to hold people accountable unless we have clear job descriptions. It's also hard to figure out where people begin, where things end. Whatever happens at that point is becomes the, the words that I hate. It depends. Well, it depends on this client. It depends on this producer. Have clear job descriptions so everybody knows exactly what their role is on the agency and how to make it happen. So please welcome Heath Sharon's first three minute video. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm sure you're tilting your head and wondering right now, who is this guy and why is he on my screen? I want to see Kelly Donahue Piro. I want to see a three minute video. And who is this guy? Well, my name is Heath Sheeran. I'm the mayor of Insurance Town and newest member of the APP team. I'm super excited to be hanging out with you today. I love this industry. I'm very passionate about this industry. I'm a 20 year veteran, second generation insurance professional. I spent half of my career on the carrier side uh, as a in a marketing role, territory manager. I worked in a claims office. I've also spent the other half of my career as an agency producer, as an agency owner, 
and really just soaked up as much as I could about this industry. And during the pandemic, I started a podcast called the Insurance Town Podcast. Quickly grew to become my uh, main source of income for a long time, that in consulting and coaching agents. And so I'm super excited about you know joining the APP team and hanging out with you guys. And today, I'm super pumped. And let me start off by saying, be proud of yourself for being here today because that shows that you care about your craft and that you're you know bought in and that you want to improve and be the best insurance professional you can be. <clears throat> so kudos to you for being here today and watching this video. I've got three kids. All three of my kids played soccer. And I don't know if you've ever been to a soccer match uh, for let's say a five-year-old. It is mass chaos. There's kids running around everywhere chasing that ball and they're all wanting to just kick the crap out of it. They don't care where it goes or what it does. They just want to kick it. Um, they're pushing and they're shoving and there's you know parents yelling from the stands. There's coaches hollering at the kids. There's referees blowing whistles and tossing flags around. And it's just, it's crazy. And while that may be fun and exciting to watch for that 30 minute span, it may not be as pretty in your agency. And you know, I've been into plenty of agencies where it looks like that. It's mass chaos, no processes, no procedures no job descriptions. And that's where we're going to camp out today. That's where we're going to camp out for just a few minutes today. We're going to talk about job descriptions. Now, job descriptions help you to have clearly defined roles for your staff. You know, what I would do to start that off is I would sit down with that staff and have a conversation with them, sit across the desk from them and just, you know, hey, um, you know, Kelly did a video a few weeks back uh, called the love hate list. Sit down with that uh, employee, that staff member to say, hey, what are the things you love about your job? What are the things you hate about your job? What are the things you need to improve on? What are the things that you're really good at? All those kind of things. And you really just lay all that out and kind of walk through what that looks like and uh, either rewrite the job description or update it or you know, develop that job description based on some of those things. I think that'll really help. Uh, that's a great exercise to go through that Kelly brought up uh, a few weeks back. You know, also what that does is not only clearly define the role, but once you have that role clearly defined and you've been over that with them, it also helps you to set expectations. I think it's super important to have not only the role, but also the expectations so that everybody's on the same page and there's full transparency across the board. And I think it's important to also have that full transparency across the entire team. If everybody on the team knows what everybody's roles are and what everybody's expectations are, it truly helps for accountability across the entire team. Um, that way, whether it's a producer and account manager relationship or producer, producer or account manager to account manager, principal, manager, mid manager, whatever it might be, you can have that accountability and you can hold each other accountable. And that, again, just helps with team morale, build team structure and workflow. Once you've got all those things and all those T's crossed and I's dotted, it makes things so much easier. So, again, uh, let's think about that as you're going into the end of the year. Let's talk about job descriptions. Let's get that down on paper. Let's get that all worked out so you can go into 2022 uh, with those job descriptions in mind, those clearly defined roles. And I think it's gonna help your agency go uh, so much further and have so much more success in 2022. I can't believe I'm already saying that. Guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, uh, you know, subscribe on YouTube or wherever you're watching this. If you know a friend or a colleague that could get something out of this video, please share that with them. If you know somebody who hasn't gone to the APP website, agencyperformancepartners.com and signed up to get these three minute videos every day, please do that. Uh, we're trying to bring as much value as possible. So make sure you do that for me. Uh, it was great hanging out with you today, get to know you and hopefully you got to know me some. I look forward to hanging out with you next time. Have a great day. Well, hello there. Uh, just want to stop and say hi. I can't believe it's November already. Uh, we are shooting this uh, about middle. This is going to be released middle of November. I just want to outline a few things that are going to be coming up so that you can uh, be prepared. First of all, Thanksgiving's coming up. My 40th birthday is coming up. 
And we like to party pretty hard for birthdays. So what we're going to be doing is actually announcing a Black Friday special. So if there's been any process packs on our website, online school, swag that you had your eye on, this will be the deepest discount we ever do. So don't delay. Have that Black Friday credit card ready, out and going. We're only going to do it on the Friday after Thanksgiving, so you got to be watching, but you'll get that all day. Then in the month of December, we're going to be doing some bundles of different things so that you can set your agency up for success for next year. But I also want to give you one little tip that's coming in a few weeks. If you have not, you have not started your end of year planning, I don't know what you're waiting for. We're in November. I see so many agencies that start releasing their plan in the middle or end of January. And honestly, guys, 8% of your year is over by the time you do that. It's not enough time for people to noodle it and launch it. So get on it. We launched our Q4 agency performance pack uh, course, which is all plan and execute, how to build your agency's success roadmap. Now you've missed all the specials, but you can still buy it on our website at full price, which is $9.95. You get an awesome workbook. You own it. You can get it forever and ever and ever and ever. We're gonna update it a little bit every year. And on top of it all, you get videos of me coaching you through it. And you get a whole guide of how to run reports in EMS 360, Hawksoft, or Epic. I mean, that alone is insanity because those that is huge. We've paid management system trainers to do that for you. So I don't know what you're waiting for. You can go ahead and click on the link or you can go to our store and find it, but get it going. You need to hop on this. And that's going to be a huge opportunity for your agency. Don't want to pay $90.95? You can actually subscribe for $2.45 a month and get all of our trainings, which, guys, that probably is a part of your 2022 plan, training your team on cross-selling and sales and retention and all of those things. So why not subscribe for $2.45 a month? You can cancel any time. Check it out. We can't wait to welcome you as a new student. So on this next video, we're going to talk all about incentives because for many agencies, they are unclear on how to have incentives or how to go ahead and have performance-based pay. We believe everybody in the agency should have some form of performance-based pay. As they work hard as a team, they get to have a little bit of a piece of the pie. Um, and I know incentives can be very confusing for agencies. I have seen some agencies go crazy for jeans and some, you know, there could be $100 bills on the table and no one pays attention. Take a look at our recommendations for a great incentive plan for your agency as you're building your plan. Hi everyone, it's Kelly Downey Capiro here with the things that you need to be doing before the end of the year. If you can believe it, we are cruising into Thanksgiving and the holidays and then the new year and then just winter, which I have different feelings about. But one of the things that you need to be doing and you need to be setting, and you're going to hear me talk about this, you probably heard me talk about it, you might be completely nauseous by me talking about it, is you need to set goals and incentives. So goals are incredibly helpful because they allow us to, you know, have some freedom, but also put our energy and resources towards something. There is nothing like celebrating. Now, for many of us as adults, we don't set goals because we don't like failing. So it's our brain's way of keeping us safe and secure and protected. And I wanted to say that's not the way to look at it. That's not the best way. Instead, what we need to be doing is saying, I wanna hit this goal. And even if I don't hit this goal, I'm halfway there. So I have a goal where I love a private plane. And I want to say in 10 years, I want to be flying private. That's a huge goal. You might be like, that's crazy. I get it. That's one of the reasons it's my goal. But if you see me in 10 years and you say, Kelly, are you flying private? And I say, I'm flying private half the time. Is that a bad thing? No, I'm halfway to my goal failure. Sometimes it's just an adjustment to what you need to focus on. But goals help us define success. And your whole team deserves to know what winning looks like. They don't know they can't help you win. It also understands the why. Why are you changing things? Why are we doing this? The why is because we're trying to hit our goal for success. And the reality is most people just want to know what's in it for them. It feels good as an agency owner to show gratitude for a job well done. Define the job, define the, the rewards. And you might be surprised how people hop on your bandwagon to help you hit your goals. So you have to be sitting down thinking incentives and goals. Goals are something that we have in our plan and execute course that you can definitely take. And incentives, talk to your team. You might be surprised what they come up with. A lot of times it's not a new Lamborghini and it's something so much smaller. We'll see you in the next video. 
So in our final video, he talks a little bit about hard conversations. And the reason that we brought this up as part of your end of your plan is oftentimes we're putting off hard conversations, whether it's somebody who is not performing the way we want to, or you're trying to, to think about a way to get things to improve, but really probably just need to have a clear the air situation. Maybe someone's in the wrong seat on the bus. Maybe there's something going on that you disapprove of. When you go ahead and you have those hard conversations, it clears the air and allows you to grow. So while difficult conversations are just that, very difficult, it is an important part of getting your plan together for next year. So please welcome Heath Sharon's second three minute video. Hey guys, it's the mayor Heath Sharon here and the newest member of the APP team. And I'm super stoked to be here today and talking to you about these uh, conversations that you need to have and things you need to do now before the end of the year. We've got the end of the year approaching and it's crazy that that's happening. Uh, be proud of yourself for being here today because it shows that you care about your craft and that you want to improve and be a better insurance professional. I'm super proud of you for that. You should be proud of yourself. So uh, give yourself a pat on the back for being here. Again, uh, another installment of three minute video and I am talking to you today about those, you know, hard conversations, you know, those things that you don't want to do, but you, sometimes you have to have those conversations between now and the end of the year. So you can be prepared and ready to go into 2022 with the right foot forward. You know, it, it's, it's one of those things that's tough to do, but uh, sometimes you just got to stop making those excuses and doing them. Whether you're talking about your goals for the next year or whether you're talking about uh, different things with your carrier reps or your employees, uh, getting to have those conversations, sometimes they're they're not the easiest, but you got to have those and get those out of the way now uh, before you even hit December, before you hit January, before you go into next year. You know, you got to, uh, you know, just stop making excuses. Just get it on the calendar, schedule it out and make sure that, that those conversations happen. And if it's like I said, if it's setting the goals and you got to get with certain team members or if it's setting the time with specific uh, carrier reps that you've got to sit with or vendors that you need to work with make sure you uh, just just do it don't don't think about it anymore don't make it too more difficult than it is because holidays are coming it's going to get more difficult you can make those excuses it's easy to do but let's not do that uh, you've also you know you don't want to go into 2022 with any kind of baggage or anything left unseen or untalked about or just left unsaid out there so it's just really uh, crucial that uh, one of those things that you do before next year is just to have those those conversations that, that might be hard, they might be difficult, but sometimes it's easy as I tell my kids just to rip the band off, band aid off quickly instead of, you know, just kind of slowly inching that thing off. Sometimes it's easier to rip that off. And I hope that uh, these videos that you've uh, been watching this week on the four things to do before heading into next year have really helped you out. And I hope that uh, it's just something that's motivated you. It's nothing. Uh, too crazy to do. It's just something that uh, we just wanted to motivate you and talk to you about. So uh, I, if it's really helped you, share this with somebody. And uh, if, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like the channel, things like that. And I look forward to seeing you on more of these videos and I'll see you on the next one. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed the three minute videos here this week with our new friend Heath. He's going to start joining me in the mashups, um, but we wanted to give him a little break so that he's got his first three minute videos down pat. Uh, if you have any requests for videos, let us know. Also, we don't do any advertising on these, the podcast portion of this or our videos. And so if there's something that you like in here, let us know, like our videos on YouTube or Facebook, share them around. That's kind of our fee for, for doing this. We love helping agents and we just want to get as many people to hear our message as possible. Have a great week, everybody.